you might well ask what I'm doing, but this is a scientific instrument. It's called a sling psychrometer. We're getting an average of the wet and dry bulb temperature in this room right now. Once we stop swinging this around, we can then read off the wet and the dry bulb temperature. If we look very carefully on the wet bulb, we're reading 19 degrees Celsius. At the moment, the dry bulb temperature is reading 24 degrees. Why is there a difference? Well, the moisture that's on this cloth is evaporating off the surface of this thermometer. As the water evaporates off, it's taking heat with it. And so therefore, there is this lowering of the temperature. The 19 degrees in the wet bulb means that there is a difference which we record as the relative humidity. The other advantage of this instrument is that we can turn straight away and dial up the wet bulb temperature, which was 19 degrees, and we can slide and show the dry bulb temperature, which was 24 degrees. So 19 and 24 degrees, we can read off the scale that the relative humidity is 60 percent. Older instruments, still scientific instruments, used to look like this. We have the wet cloth around the thermometer and we have the dry bulb temperature as well. The difference between the wet bulb and the dry bulb gives us the relative humidity. In most air-conditioned buildings, we aim for 50% relative humidity, enough moisture so that we don't feel too tired or exhausted at the end of the day. One of the problems in modern buildings is that we talk about dry eye syndrome. Dry eye syndrome is where the air in the building is so dry, too much air conditioning has been going on. Air conditioning is where we take out moisture from the air. We take moisture out, it feels cooler. The trouble is our eyes need a certain amount of moisture. We blink for obvious reasons to keep our eyes moist. If the air is too dry inside a building, our eyes dry out. I'm sure you've seen the ads on TV where they're selling you drops that you put in your eye to overcome this syndrome. In designing our buildings, we need to make sure that we achieve 50% relative humidity. Too low, the dry eye syndrome cuts in. Too high, relative humidity, we perspire, we sweat, we feel uncomfortable. The sling psychrometer is a simple way of finding out what the relative humidity is in the room. Usually when we do this in a scientific way, we walk around the whole building, taking about three minutes to get the total effect of the whole room. Keeping the cloth moist means that it's operating correctly. If this cloth dries out, the effect is totally lost. Something very simple but very important in making climactic conditions inside a building conducive to human habitation.